Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can render list using for each in HTML. So for each is basically a loop. And uh, if you have a list, list is basically a collection of data. So if you have lots of data collected in a list and you want to render that list on the UI, so you can implement a loop so that the statements will be repeated automatically. And for that purpose, we can use for each loop. So let's jump to VS code and I will be creating a lightning web component uh, where I will be demonstrating you like how we can render a list on the UI. So I will be demoing you two examples. In one, I will be creating a list, custom list. And in another example, I will be showing you how we can fetch the list from Apex through your S object and how we can render that list on the UI. So let me create first lightning component where I will be creating a custom list. So I'm naming it as rendering list for each. So this is my component. So first I will be implementing the HTML file. So here inside template, I'm going to create a lightning card and its title I'm keeping as rendering list through for each. So this will be the title of my lightning card. Now, inside this lightning card, I am having a unordered list. So this is a HTML tag that I'm using here. And here I'm going to apply a class SLDS hyphen M hyphen around underscore medium. So this is SLDS class. So SLDS is basically Salesforce lightning design system. So it provides you feature rich predefined classes so you can just use them directly. So I'm using this class here. Then inside this, so unordered list basically contains different, different list items. So it is like an ordered list where uh, you, you can have multiple list items. So those list items I will be rendering with the help of a loop. So here I'm going to implement template and inside this template, I will be implementing for each. And here I need to pass a list. So list, I'm naming it as context. And each item of the list will be available one by one in contact variable. Right? So you can assume like this context is a list and one by one item will be available in this context variable, right? Now inside this template, I need to have li tag that is basically stands for list item. So it is related to ul. ul is unordered list and its uh, element is li list item. So here we need to set a key. So key I am setting as contact.id. So this contact variable will be having a field called ID so that I am assigning as a key. And then I'm going to have contact.name, then comma, and then contact.title. So these are two more fields. Those will be available in the list. So list will be having ID, name, and title, right? So these we are displaying with the help of contact. So contact is a variable that will be receiving data from this context list. So now after implementing this code, next we need to implement the JavaScript file where we need to create this list. So I'm jumping to JavaScript file and here inside this curly brace, we need to implement the list. So here I'm going to create a list of like uh, list name is context equals to and inside square bracket, I'm opening curly braces. So first I'm creating ID as one. So after one, I need to put a comma. Then I'm providing a name. 
So name I am writing as Sanjay Gupta, and uh, then I am putting a title. founder of tech school. So this way, my first contact is created. Now I'm putting comma. So what I can do, I can just copy and paste it so that I can create one more contact. So here ID is two. Then second context name is Vikas Gupta. And instead of founder, I'm writing CEO of tech school. Then I'm pasting it again so that I can have third contact. So here I am writing Arush and the title is MD. So this way, like I created a different, different record. So if you want to create more records, so you can, so you just need to provide ID and here I am writing a third or maybe I can have manager, right? So this way I just provided ID name and title. So I created four records and all these records will be available in this context list, right? So this way in JavaScript, you can create your custom list having some values, right? So I'm just saving this JavaScript file now. And uh, at the end, like after this, you can just put a semicolon, right? So this is saved. Now I'm going to save this HTML file. Now I just need to implement meta.xml. So here I'm putting true. Then I need to set targets. And I am having home page as a target because in this code, like I just created a custom list. So in this custom list, like uh, data is provided by me. It is not having any data related to any object. And uh, this list will be rendered on the UI with the help of this loop. So this is the first part of uh, this video. Like I'm explaining the custom list, how we can render that. Later on, after placing this component on the UI, I will be demoing you like how we can fetch the S objects data in terms of records and how we can render that data on the UI. So first of all, I need to deploy this from source to org. So this whole lightning web component is being deployed to org. So it is successfully deployed. Now I'm jumping to org and I'm going to edit this home page. And I will be placing this lightning web component on the home base so that we can experience the result. So here you can see rendering list for each is available. And I'm just dragging and dropping it here and I'm clicking on save. Moving back, so you can see a component is available here. This is the title which we uh, provided in the uh, lightning card element. So title is displaying and uh, you can see it is showing name and then comma and then title of uh, that particular contact. So in the same format, we just provided the data here. And uh, we use list items. So automatically name and titles are displaying in the new line, right? And we used unordered list. So that is why bullets are not available here. If I change it to ordered list. So we will be having a uh, different output. So I just modified it. So I'm going to deploy it to org again. And I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, for some reason, this ordered list is not working. So let me just put a type here. So again, I'm deploying the updated component to org and I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, so I think an ordered list is not working here. So uh, uh, I'm just undoing it. So you can just use an order list here. So in some, like in uh, some of the video, 
or any any video like I will be uh, showing you ordered how we can show order list as well. So maybe like uh, we need to use different uh, tag for that purpose. So uh, like I hope you understood how we can use unordered list and list item. Uh, and uh, I I hope you also understood like how we can render a custom list that we create in the JavaScript file on the UI. Now, let me just open my one component that I created in the previous video. So it is like a uh, wiring Apex class. So I'm opening it. So I'm going to close this one. So here is the HTML file. I am opening JavaScript file, right? And I'm going to open the contact controller and get context function. So it will be available in the Apex. So here is the contact controller, which is having this uh, get context function. Right, so, okay. So first of all, first of all, we need to understand this uh, HTML file. So I'm just uh, opening it in the full page. So here you can see, uh, we have this if condition, which is checking like whether this record is having some data or not. If it is having some data, so that will be displayed here. And uh, after that, here we are having this for each loop. So here we are having this list as context and one by one contact will be available in this contact variable. And similarly, like we implemented uh, an ordered list here as well, which is having list item. So ID will go to the key and first name and last name will be displayed on the UI. Right now, if I show you the JavaScript file. So here in JavaScript, I just fetched this get context through this statement. So I just imported that function and it will be used with this identifier get context. And here with the help of wire decorator, I am just uh, wiring this method. So once this component will be loaded on the UI, so this method will be executed. And here I'm passing record ID. So this record ID will be of account. So this account record ID will be passed as a parameter. So basically what will happen, the account records, like the account ID, which I'm passing. So the contexts which are related to that account, those will be returned here uh, through this wire statement and uh, the data will be available in this data. And uh, we are assigning this data into this context property, which is a list. So this way, if you fetch data from S object, so this is the way how you can assign that into a list. And that list you can use in your HTML file with the help of this for each. And if you see your uh, like contact controller class, so here this get context is available, which will be receiving the account ID. And basis on that account ID, I am applying SQL on contact. Right, so all the contexts which are related to this account will be queried and they will be returned automatically. So return type of this method is list of contact. Right, so this way list of contact will be returned and it will be stored in that context list that is being like that is already created in that JavaScript file. So this way, I hope you understood like how we can fetch the data from S object and how we can store that into a list and how we can render that list on the UI, right? So this way, if you want to iterate your list in Lightning Web Component, so you can use for colon each statement. So I just try to explain you both the ways, like if you have custom list, so you can render that as well with the help of for, for each loop. And if you have uh, queried your data from S objects in terms of records, and those are if those are available in the list, so you can iterate over that list as well with the help of for each loop.